Old Shook. Shook, Old Shock, and Black Shook are all names for a phantom black dog that haunts East Anglia in England. Described as a very large and shaggy black dog with either red or green eyes, sometimes seen with just a singular eye like a cyclops. People have also reported seeing black shook without a head or at other times floating on mist. Usually black shook is encountered on coastlines, graveyards, dark forests, crossroads, deserted roads, and paths. People differ in what they believe happened to people that witness black shook. Some believe that a person will die within a year, have a family member die, or the witness will just have bad luck. Black Shook isn't always seen as an omen of doom, but instead as a protective force. There are many stories of women traveling alone being accompanied by Black Shook until they have reached their destination safely. In Cambridgeshire, there is a tale of a black dog rescuing a girl that was being wrongly attacked by a friar. There are two dark tales of Black Shook terrorizing and even killing churchgoers on the same day on Sunday, August 4th, 1577. The first being at St. Mary's Church in Bungie. Lightning hit the church and a big black dog suddenly appeared. It ran all around the church until it came to two people on their knees praying. Black Shook bit their necks which caused their necks to break, or just ran past them, and then the prisoners mysteriously died. After that, Black Shook disappeared. Twelve miles away, Black Shook reappeared and burst through the church doors at the Holy Trinity Church in Blytheburg. It was accompanied by the sound of a clap of thunder. It then ran through the center aisle passed a large amount of the congregation and killed a man and a boy. It then caused the steeple to collapse through the roof. Black Shook then exited through the north door and left marks on the door that still can be seen to this day. Another interesting story of Black Shook takes place between Durham and RAF Swanton Morley on November 1945. A man riding a bike was followed by a black dog. It stopped when he stopped and kept pace with him even when he was traveling at the speed of 20 miles per hour. Once he reached R.E.F. Swanton Morley, the dog mysteriously disappeared. May of 2014, a large dog was found and excavated at Layston Abbey. People assumed this must be Black Shook. Carbon testing was performed on the bones and were dated to either 1650 to 1690, 1730 to 1810, or after 1920. There are many origin stories of Black Shook. One I heard when I was a little child while watching TV. Once, a very long time ago, a beautiful young woman owned a big, shaggy black dog. The woman married a very old and cruel man. One night, the couple and her dog went for a walk on a desolate road. The young woman and the old man began to argue. The argument became more and more heated until the old man was filled with hatred towards his young wife. He beat her severely and then strangled her. The dog tried his best to protect its master and was severely injured by the cruel old man. The old man walked away, leaving his wife and her dog behind. Some time later, the man thought he had gotten away with it, until one night he noticed a very big dog with very large red eyes running towards him. Before he could react, the dog attacked him. The next morning, the old man was found dead no scratches or bites were found on him. He had apparently died of fright. Is Black Shook real? Or just a collection of tales of many different black dogs throughout the centuries? 
many people in East Anglia believe, and people to this day continue to witness Black Shook. La la. <laughs> <laughs>